A real treat now. My next guest is without a doubt one of the truly great tenors in the world, and he will be performing Othello with the Los Angeles Music Center Opera at the Dorothy Channon Pavilion on the 25th, 28th, and 31st of March and the 2nd of April. His new album is called A Life and Song, Goya. Would you welcome Placido Domingo? to see you again. It's nice to see you. And, Long time. And always thrilling to hear you sing. Thank you very much. Can I ask you, now this may sound like a dumb question. I know those of us who do comedy, and Chevy I think would agree with this, you have days where you, you may not feel funny. For some psychology, you don't feel very funny. You ever have a day where you get up and you don't feel that you're in good voice or you don't really feel like singing? Well, that's, and how, uh, and how do you overcome it? Well, you have to do it. You know, yeah. if, you, if you have to perform, you have to perform. Right. But uh, sometimes, yes, in fact, uh, <clears throat> well, yesterday I did the dress rehearsal of Otello. Right. And uh, when I, always when I come to your show, I have to sing, you know. Right. You don't ask Chevy to do, you know, part of his film here <laughs> or part of his comedy. I have to sing. Oh. So I said, well, I am here and I'm very glad to sing. But he's always very nervous when you have to sing like a day after the... A very heavy performance, and really? Otello is one of the heaviest roles, right. you know. So I'm always, you know, yeah. I prefer to sing. When you do an opera like this, you really, it's, let's say, like in baseball, like the right. pitcher. Right. You have to sing like every three or four days. It's not like a regular. No, regular. you really need that. The pitcher, they need, uh, it's like the tenor. The tenor, you need three days really to be in shape again, yeah. to sing again. Well, your voice, you sound better than ever. Thank you very much. Now, you. they say that, ba you mentioned baseball players. Uh, baseball players, like tennis players, they say their peak is around 27, 28 years of age, or a fighter. Is there an age where a singer, for example, is at his peak? Uh, or does the voice diminish over a matter of time? It all depends. I think that, for instance, for the tenor, you can go on uh, maybe 56, 60. Really? 
Yes, um, but it's not, you know, there are many cases, there are singers and they go over yeah. 60, 65, 68. But I think uh, you have to be believable in a character. Yeah. I think that's the danger, you know, when you start not being believable, you... That's most... why I don't sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are believable. Yeah. Are, you, I... are you saying there are certain uh, opera stars who play roles you don't think they should be playing now? Well, I don't say that, but uh, yeah. there are... Uh, <laughs> there is, <laughs> I won't say that. But you have to be careful. I think that it's better to leave before they, everybody starts saying, you know, why he's singing, you know? Why he's the, uh, not yeah. retiring? It's better than they say it. Why he left so early, you know? We want to hear him. But, but opera stars have changed. It, was, was it not true that, that it's very often that roles uh, of a young lady were played by rather hefty... Yeah, but, divas. but today is, is quite different. Yeah. You should see, we really have beautiful girls singing the, yeah. the leading parts today. It's just like in any other I mean, musical comedy or television, you, you have beautiful girls today. The weight is only an excuse, you know. Okay, yeah. there are cases that people is overweight and what can you do? I, if you are that way, you cannot avoid yeah. it. But sometimes yeah. to use it as an excuse is not good. I've often wondered when I see singers who have powerful voices and you're singing you know literally face to face sometimes mm -hmm. right is, is that kind of shattering <laughs> <laughs> no i listen to you when you would you do something for me would you just hit something up right i just want to feel standing next to you like if i was, like if I was singing up opposite you and you know we're doing okay. a, a duet i just want to hear <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> I think the right couple to sing better. That is like a, that is uh, that is like one of those Sony Walkmans when you're standing that close. It all comes in there. Have you have you lost a little weight? You look I like it. Yes. Yeah. A little bit. I I try to keep in shape because uh, it's it's your fault. It's television. You know you. Yeah. When you have to do operas on television, it has to be as as much uh, believable as you can be. You know. Yeah, so I try to to lose weight. So you now you've been you've been married for what almost 20, 27 years. Twenty seven. Twenty seven years. years. Children? Yes, of course I have children. Um, I have are even they musical? A grandchildren. Really? Yes, a grand uh, uh, is nine months. Any of them pursuing any of your children pursuing uh, music? Everybody is in the music business. I have one son that is a composer, yeah. another one that wants to be a movie director. And the other one is uh, involved with uh, television productions in Mexico. So yeah. the three there are That's marvelous. They're really, really involved in this. Hey, yes. right. OK, we're going to take a short break, and we're coming right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> anyway, uh, Placido will uh, be at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion in Otello, starting uh, I've got it right here in my pocket, because I'm going to go myself. Um, March 25th, the 28th, 31st, and uh, 2nd of April. But there are no tickets. So there are no tickets. No tickets. <laughs> Sold out. Could I? You have to come one day. Well, I would like to come, but yes, there are no, you said there are no tickets. But you are any anytime welcome. Well, who will be bouncing out? <laughs> we can use some supers in, on stage. Is there, any, is there any background players that you need on stage? I could get in costume and just Absolutely. walk around on stage or something? Absolutely. Good. OK. La No. And Chevy will be seen uh, all around the country. There are no tickets. But well, there are no tickets. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all for being here. Tomorrow night, Bob Hope will be here. David Horowitz, Gay Kelly, and Rodney Nelson. And a special awards presentation. Good night.